Hey there everyone, I am doing one more small mod run here in hopes to get a little more fights with the uh, harlot here. We'll try to go through a lot of her abilities. I really only showcased hands off and silk hiding steel last time, but heart of gold is interesting and we'll look at the other one when we get there. I am doing this video and I'll also be streaming today, so obviously if you're watching this video pretty much on a little bit of a delay, I may be already done streaming in the middle of it or over. But just letting you know in case you can make it for the streaming and don't necessarily can't make this video or if you make the video not the stream yada yada. So we got Kiss of Death here, marks the target, debuffs accuracy, bleed resist, and boss the party. So it's pretty cool and we only have one individual who can really function off the mark and then there's Heart of Gold which is interesting. It allows someone to go twice and we'll kind of look into what we can maybe do with that. There's a couple of things we can do that with that and ooh, 110. We can do with that in this party. Because we do have a Jester, so in a way we could actually have our Jester go two Battle Ballads in the same turn. Because he's not really going to do an insane amount of damage, so having him use two Battle Ballads is actually extremely useful and something we can kind of break. I think that ability in general is kind of broken. However, she is a mod character, so she's not meant to be part of the regular... Oh, what do you want to call it? The regular balance of the game. So some of the characters can get a little wacky in here since uh, people made them and the designers really had no say on what happens. But it's cool people make their own classes because it does certainly allow you to... Ooh, duh. I need to start bringing individuals to Affliction so I can start like melting them off in the cove because of all the all the uh, negative quirk removals, removals we will find. However, I do like showing decent runs so I do try to How's her trap disarm? 120 is actually not bad. Yep, not bad. But not good enough, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. We just have to use a couple of inspiring tunes on her, which her heart of cold will be perfect for. So it actually works out very well. Now my only question is, is if it gets that hero's turn, do they get two turns right away? Or do they get another one at the end? We're going to find out because I need her, oh gosh, especially on these two guys. I need her to get to like almost immediately. And oh, look at that. So we'll do one for that. And then what we could even do later, oh my gosh, this is, a, this is actually a pretty hard fight because all three of these guys are relatively high priority. So I do need, yeah, how... That's the one. I mean, I guess I'll be thankful it missed, um, Mister. However, I don't really want too, too many more howls, because it will be significantly reducing us later. There we go. Let me finish off the garb guy right away. Uh, I don't want to quite mark. However, yeah, he's kind of susceptible to bleed, so I should try to get some high bleed damage in there. I'm not going to focus quite on getting down her stress more because uh, once I, they're both such high stress damage targets. I really don't want either of them alive for long. But I, oh shoot, look at those crits. I believe because I have a Jester, he'll just keep focusing the Jester. So I actually won't have to worry about, um, what's that called? Off kick jilter or something. I forgot what the ability's called, but eh, you don't want it to happen. It's pretty painful. So now the only problem is, I think yeah, so that'll kill him though. All right, so that actually wasn't terrible. Sometimes eight dodge, one speed, minus ten accuracy. It's not terrible, but. Oh, and I forgot to show the item we're getting. Actually, these gems would have been a good um, example of another mod we have. We currently have the Hollow Knight trinkets on, and the item I'm getting is Milo or Mila. I don't know how to say it. It's M-Y-L-A. It's her pickaxe, and for every gem you have, you get an additional 3% critical chance on, obviously, who has it. So someone would be getting 9% right now. It's pretty good. If I really wanted to, I could have kept the Citrine instead of the Dodgy Sheath. And then I would have 12%, and then who knows where I could go in the world with that. Ooh, that's a shame I missed. 
I really like that ability because it's just a nice triple threat, can get bleed. Uh, we're in the cove, so obviously there's some high resistances, but it's still just damage across three people. Alrighty. We do want to start killing damage dealers here, though, and I am doing a terrible job of that. Oh, that's probably stun. No, look at that. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of wish this was a critical. I could group all three together, and then that um, protection would be less significant. However, we do have a shield breaker and other forms of killing people, and... Come on. There we go. Now, now we got them together anyways. The shield breaker can also just melt this guy's HP. Because she's a fair and balanced class. Fair and balanced. Man, I just can't hit this Tide Master. Come on. Let me at him. Yeah, like, look at all this positives. Gosh, it's so gross. Stress is actually going to hurt her a lot. So it shouldn't it be more than that? Maybe not. Is it a heart of gold this guy again? Just so you can see the abilities and actions so I can get to. Like, we'll do one here. And then if I have to wait later, we'll do one up front. It'll be a good time. Okay. If you say so, game. Then we'll get her one. And we can essentially have, like, the just ultimate healing team right here. Jeez, another crit. All she's... I, I'm going to assume the Pelagic Tide Masters are she. I don't know. I guess uh, I'm not really a fish expert, but it might be he. Well, that's three crits in a row, man. She's on fire. Remind yourself that overconfidence I'm really not going to be too interested in uh, a lot of money because I have a lot. So you're going to see me just pretty much bypass a crap ton of loot because I do not care. Um, ooh, I forgot to move my person. However, we can see this in action. So we now got minus stress. We got minus accuracy. Did not help, but he had minus accuracy. Bleed resist actually moved me in a position I kind of wanted to be in. But now we get to see the mark in effect. Didn't kill, actually. Kind of surprised about that with all the uh, damage increases he has, but that's okay. Yeah, and I hate Uka Savages, so this is just gonna... I would rather have the three crits in a row in the Uka, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, 22 damage is still pretty darn good, so I won't complain. It's just they can do 10 bleed. They got a lot of HP. If they do title slam and it works, it's really painful. And Oh gosh, you don't... Yeah, you don't want to get title slammed. So, next turn he'll probably be dead unless we have some horrible misses. Poor stuns. Stuns are always good. Oh, jeez, another crit. That's probably... Oh, I say, if that bleed goes off, he's definitely dead by DOT, but... Yeah, we just need a shield breaker to go, which she should with 8 speed on it. Yeah. Yep, that's enough damage. Bye-bye, Uka. Yeah, Uka Savages, man, they are... They're so deadly, but I feel like... I don't even know if I want to call them a slow creep. They're not really a slow creep. They they burn you down pretty dang quick. I mean, it's it's noticeable once you start getting hit by Uka Bleeds, or the Tidal Slams can actually really mess up your party compositions. You got someone in the front, and next thing you know, the Uka's like, yeah, he's not in the front anymore. You're like, okay, that's fair. Uh, see, we got some bleeds going on there, and then we got some of these going on here. Then we'll get some point blanks going on in here. It'll be a good time. Yeah, I'm just waiting to point blank that poor guy. Yep. That actually works out so well, because I didn't really want to uh, point blank the Pelagic Champion, but oh well, it happens. Next target... I don't know. It really depends on... He's Barnacle Barrier, so most likely he's going to have to die anyways. So if we can do... If we can get rid of that body, we could essentially do AoE attack abilities, which this... Darn it, wasn't enough damage. 
I think I'll just do that. Just get rid of the body. He'll also die. And then I can point blank this dude. This should be a good time. Yeah, at least, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna change the abilities up on the Harlot here soon so you can see other stuff in action. I don't want to do just the same with four abilities, but you kind of get the point now, so. It's always good to see all of the skills. Now, the only problem is I didn't make sure this party was adequate to fit all of her skills. Um, We're fine on stress, so I don't really want to do... What's it called? Heart of Gold. I say, we'll go for a lucky bleed chance. We got it. Crit my guess of bleed. There we go. I think I was a moron, though. And I don't think I put on... Oh, I did, so I can... There we go. It's not going to be enough damage. Wish that was a little more. However, I did at least get a direct hit in. I could have done Impale, but I think the other ability had more damage that way. It's okay. It... When you have a jester in your lineup in the cove, the uh, squiffy gas essentially just start- well, not essentially, they do. Just target them the whole time. So it's an easy way to just have uh, the gas just focus the jesters. I ate a lot of food there so we could heal. Obviously we want bandit sense, clean guns, we'll do Eye of the Tiger on Shieldbreaker Shore. She also, because I've completed DLCs, she gets a couple of bonuses for two battles, which is just going to make her an absolutely broken individual beyond what she already is. And yes, she can get worse than what she was, so... Don't underestimate the power of Shieldbreaker, but I don't think many people do, because it's pretty dang obvious. Once again, this is more of a formality just to get the golden stuff. I actually don't need it. Hence why I usually overstock on literally everything. Don't use these runs as, like, pure tips. Because A, I have DLC, so which means the composition lineups are going to be different and you can't do. And C, I'm really lackadaisical with some of the stuff I do. So, you know, just, just remember that. And I said I would change your skills out, which I didn't, darn. Okay, I will have to change her skills out. I do mean that. I'm horrible and I- oh, come on. Yeah. I'm so happy that one ability repose, even if it's just for one round or a turn, whatever. It's just so strong. So, so, so strong. Marking a target's not gonna do a lot. Yeah, so we might as well try to get some bleeds going on in here. It's a low percent chance, but... It's really better than just reducing. I mean, I could reduce the accuracy so we don't get hit with um, pinched arteries and stuff like that. Yeah, I should probably reduce his accuracy. I'll do that next round so we can try to dodge this better. Dang, even with 58 dodge. Okay, good resist, but... So yeah, let's reduce the accuracy here. And also, if he gets a critical chance, we'll have some of our... Um, Stress reduce. Ooh, there we go. Don't need the uh, stuff there. I'm going to avoid that room because A, there's nothing there. And B, I believe you can leave two rooms open in medium explore. So we actually do not need to go to that one. Hence why I didn't go to the other one as well because that's seven spaces out and a battle fight. It would have taken forever to walk out there, walk back. Granted, these next... Maybe I should have to show more fights off, but for some reason, every time I bring out the Harlot, everyone's scared of her. I don't know why. They must. Oh, yeah, I need to change her skills. Don't want to be a liar. So let me just look at the next two here. She has to be in the front for that one. Probably not going to work. Hold me close. Force guard and ally. Clear stun. Stress depot target. Crits received. We'll try that. 109 versus marked. Interesting. Um. Yeah, well, I guess we'll see how that goes. I'm not exactly sure. Let's try, I say, Redemption. I guess I kind of wonder in the back now, don't I? Well, I, I still want to run forward. Should be interesting for our last fight. Hopefully it's a decent fight. Yeah, if we get lucky, a collector or something. Yeah, it's... It could be better, but it could also be very worse. 
So, we're going to do this. We're going to try to do on the prowl. Just make sure that... Just want to bring this guy. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Dead. Because, yeah, it moves you forward one. Or we can do this. Force guard. Now, the only problem is that actually didn't work out as I want. Because I wanted him to be able to repost. Because then we could do, like, an anticorium style. Where, you know, if you get the repost going and then the guard and she gets target, all that crap. But seemingly, I'm just going to kill everyone, like, two hits. I guess it's not very, uh... Very beneficial here, huh? And then we're just going to do that. So that's very interesting. Okay. Those skills are interesting. They would certainly have their this place. It's just I haven't played with success. them enough. Um, sure. I'm not... I don't know. I guess I'll go in. I guess I'll do it for formality, but I really don't need this. When did I lose Jania's head? When did I lose Dismas's head? When did this happen? Okay, I guess I did need this because apparently I lost all... Did I do something stupid? This I've done some stupid stuff on this account. You know what? I probably did lose those trinkets. I'm just trying to remember where, where when, and why. I probably have it up on YouTube. I could probably go back and be like, Yep, right here. Everyone died. Hmm. Oh, by the way, if you get a secret room, it does count, and you can actually skip three rooms. However, I didn't think I was going to get a secret room. Glad I did, but, you know, you don't always get one, so I don't try to say that all the time. So, yep, here, here's your uh, pickaxe right here. So, at the end of that, that person would have had, like, an additional 15 20% and 5 accuracy. Maybe good on a leper, I don't know. With the three trinket mod on, it could certainly open up a crap ton of possibilities, along with a crap ton of negative quirks we just got. I'm trying to like clean off some of the negative quirks people have, but it, it's impossible at this point. Because the one mod I have on, it brings in a lot of additional people from the stagecoach. However, I can't seem to find a mod that opens up more sanitarium. Because you're like, oh wow, level fives and stuff. Yeah, well they have five negative quirks. Like it's just nope, it's way too many. Alright, thank you for watching. If you're watching this video now, get ready for the stream in maybe about an hour or two.